So we have decided that we are super adults because we just opened an air purifier like it was Christmas morning. Good morning guys. So I got my Lady Jedi robes on again today because it is another chilly one outside. We also had a super early, well not super early start to our day, but super early for us start to our Saturday. Um, as you guys know, we had our pregnancy blood test at the fertility center today, so we went in for that and everyone was super excited because so as soon as we sat down like in to get my blood drawn, she was like, so did you cheat? And I was like, yes. <laughs> but yeah, everyone was really excited when we told them that like we had been, we had already tested and that we were positive and I don't know, it just made me feel really nice. Like, yeah, it's their job, but they like were genuinely excited and like, I don't know, it was just really, really nice. And yeah, so we have that done. We're getting our call back between like two and six today. And then I'm going back in on, since I already told them I tested and I was positive that um, they let me go ahead and schedule my secondary like follow up blood work because like I thought they would. They wanted to obviously set up another blood draw to make sure that my HCG levels and everything are increasing as they should be. So we have that set up for 8.45 again on Monday. And Miles is calling me. I'll be right back. <laughs> so those silicone uh, scrubby things uh, that I was talking about the other day arrived in the mail today. And so I wanted to quickly show you guys this is what it looks like. So this is going to replace our loofah. It just has like some really light... Um, I don't even know what to call these things. Scrubbies, <laughs> yes. Um, on this side, and then on the other side, it has like massager nub things. So yeah, I'm really excited. It's definitely more purple than I thought it was gonna be. I thought they were pink, but honestly, the only reason I ordered these was because they were like, it was the same price to get two of these for one of another listing. So yeah, that's why I got these. But anyways, I'm really excited to use these in the shower and I'll let you guys know what I think of them if you're interested. <laughs> so Miles is actually currently working on our bathroom because we had like a bubble of paint and there was also some mold under another spot I think we discovered um, and we had like kind of assumed. So this was a project that we have been planning for a little bit. So he finally got around to tackling it tonight. And yeah, so he's ripping down all like the paint that had kind of peeled or whatever. He's getting rid of all the mold and I think he has like a mold blocking primer that he's gonna use. And then we're actually gonna end up painting the whole bathroom just so it doesn't end up like one wall looking different from the rest. But things are looking like kind of a mess right now and it's kind of setting my OCD off. <laughs> but you know, projects always look worse before they look better. So <laughs> here's to progress. Also, one more exciting thing. I've been taking these uh, cheap strip tests every morning just to see the line darken um, because that means that obviously the HCG hormone is increasing as it should while you're pregnant. So this is from today. This is 11, 12, 13 DPO. I missed 14 and then this is 15. So yeah, definitely getting a whole lot darker. I'm really excited about that. It's almost like as dark as the test line. So yeah, that's super exciting. But now I'm going to try and find myself some lunch. And I'm not sure what we have. I'm kind of hoping that we have some leftover spaghetti already cooked from throughout the week that I can just make like my, you guys know, my butter noodles with um, some cheese and then garlic powder. So that's kind of what I'm hoping, but I don't know. <sighs> Shoot. No such luck. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna have for lunch then. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, so I ended up just having a big, big bowl of avocado pico de gallo and everything but the bagel seasoning because that's pretty much all we had. <laughs> so we have decided that we are super adults because we just opened an air purifier like it was Christmas morning. <laughs> Joke credit goes to Miles. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the plug? Huh? Where's the plug? Uh, right here. I'm so excited though. Right? <laughs> like, look how fancy yeah, it is. You get a pretty one. What? Yes, he let me get a pretty one. It was very important to me. Like, look at all those, like, options. And it's so sleek, like, just bam, take it all in. Where are you going? I'm going to plug it in. <laughs> we were taking it all in. Take it all in on the Ooh. It's supposed to tell you, like, I should probably read the directions, huh? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, also, here's the pretty card that Becca got us. So she got each of us a separate card. So that's my cute card. And then, 
Ugh, this is the one she got for Miles. Isn't that hilarious? So yeah, I just wanted to share those because I love cute cards. And then we also got one for Miles' grandmother this morning too, which was super sweet. So that has been really fun and unexpected. Um, oh, and I never showed the flowers. Mm, the like, color of the ring shows, tells you what your air quality is. Oh, so is it good? Blue is good. Excellent. Yellow and green is moderate. Purple is polluted. Red is poor. <laughs> Red is you're going to die. Yeah. <laughs> well, blue, that's good that we have good. Yeah. Put it in the bedroom, see what it does. Right, that's what I'm curious Yeah. About. But um, anyways, here are the beautiful flowers she brought us. Isn't that like the cutest thing you've ever heard? So pretty. I love them. I love fresh flowers. They just make me so happy. And I love these funky looking guys. Like they're always, I feel like they're always in bouquets like this because they're just so unique and cool. And there's so, a, a couple more. We have to figure out where to put this. Okay. So it can't go like behind, like it's got to be open. Yeah, I know. That's why I wanted a pretty one. Yeah. So, we can maybe, like... I was going to say put it, like, next to the hope chest with the trash can, maybe. Okay. What do you think? Sure. Yeah? Either that or behind, like, right here. Yeah, we could put it there or there. We'll figure it out. Is there a plug behind it? What do you chest? think? Uh, I feel like there should be. There's plugs everywhere in this room. Yes? Yes. Well done. Just don't push it all the way back, yeah. Okay. What do you think, Munchkin, huh? Is your air gonna be so pure and fresh? Huh? Oh, still blue light, that's good. Yeah. We'll see as it processes. So do we just leave it? Yep. Is it like what, running? Yep. Cool. Does it just stay on all the time or? Um, I don't know. All right. I guess so. Cool. Mm, maybe not. Well, either way, we're ridiculously excited about our brand new air purifier. <laughs> all right, so it's a little later and I didn't think it was gonna be like this much later, but Miles' parents actually ended up coming over. First, his dad came over to like kind of look at and help him with the whole like bathroom project that he started today so he was here and then Miles' mom came and so we just kind of hung out Miles' dad helped him work on the bathroom and stuff and his mom just hung out I don't know we were just kind of all hanging out while they were working on the bathroom and then um they left and we went to go to Home Depot I thought we were just going to Home Depot and then coming back um, Miles needed more speckle I believe but then we decided to actually head to Target because Miles needed something else, I forget. Um, and while I was there, I actually got a couple pictures printed that I've been wanting to do. The main one I wanted is this one because my pregnancy journal needed a picture of mom and dad to put in like the first page. So I wanted to print this out and I also kind of wanted to test out um, to see if they had like square pictures and to see if um, like how much they cost and the quality of the pictures at Target for like the rest of... Um, the rest of my pregnancy journal and also just um, picture printing in general because we need to like fill all the frames that we have around the house. Um, I also just printed out uh, my little pregnancy announcement picture just for fun. I thought that'd be fun to have around. Um, and yeah, but now we are back home and I have my bump date all finished and edited and exported so that'll be ready to go on Monday for you guys. I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, not sure what else I'm going to work on at this moment, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. All right, we are sitting down to dinner and it smells absolutely amazing. I am starving, I'm so excited to dig in. So we're having chicken, which teriyaki sauce, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, we have, which has teriyaki sauce on it and then like half a plate of zucchini, which I'm so excited about. Zucchini is one of my favorite veggies. So yeah, gonna dig into this. All right, so Miles just left to go to a movie with Steve and I, I'm on the hunt for free baby stuff. <laughs> so a lot of places give out like free baby boxes, like full of like samples and stuff. And some have like really good things. Like they'll come with like a bottle or like a onesie or just a bunch of different stuff. So I signed up for the baby list or like I, yeah, I got the baby list one to send to us. Um, cause baby list is where I have like our registry set up cause I'm a crazy person and I already have our registry set up because I wanted a place to basically like help store, I guess all the like products that I know I want. So I just set up a registry early, but yeah. And I really like baby list because 
you can add products from anywhere on the internet on your registry. And you can also, um, like, have more than one place where you can get an item. Like, say I want um, a Komotomo bottle. And I say you can either buy it from Amazon for this price or Target for this price. And it keeps the prices updated. So if there's a price drop on an item, it'll show up on your registry. And so basically you can um, give your, you know, whoever is shopping off your registry the best deals, you know, so they can see where the best place to buy it is. So I really appreciate that. Um, that was something with my wedding registry that I didn't like about the not wedding registry because there were a couple items where um, there were multiple places that I did register for. And while you could connect all of the different registries onto one site, you couldn't um, show more than one place to buy an item. Even if you registered at both places, it would just have made two separate registry items. So anyways, this is going off on a tangent that I did not mean to go off on. But regardless, Babylist offers you a free Hello Baby box. Um, well, it's kind of free. You have to pay like $5 for shipping. But um, so I, yeah, set up that. And so that should be getting here soon. I'm really excited um, to see what comes in it. I know Target also does one. I think Walmart also does one. I was looking up Pinterest has like all these lists of like the places you get free baby stuff. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to do. <laughs> and um, I'm probably going to find something on Netflix too put on a watch while I'm doing that. All right, it's like 10.15 and I am struggling to stay awake. Um, really, you're ditching me? Oh, she's been snuggling with me the whole time I've been up here. No, you're just gonna sit your butt on my shoulder. <laughs> um, oh, so I watched Trolls, it was really, really cute. And um, did a little work on our baby registry. Oh. Um, I also, what did I do? I don't know. But after I finished watching Trolls, I came upstairs and, um, read Chapter 2. Well, I read some of Chapter 2. A lot of it, you, like, skipped forward to parts that, like, didn't apply to you. So there was, you know, a lot of sections because I don't really have any complications or whatever. So I got to skip a lot of that chapter. And it was just a lot about, like, kind of, um testing and stuff like that and most of that information I'm mean, going to get from my doctor anyway so the parts that I like did want to learn about like the NIPT which is the I think it's a screening where you can also find out the gender around 10 weeks which Miles and I both really want to do I was reading about that because I was curious so and they did say the one thing I was curious about is if insurance companies cover it and the book said that most insurance plans do and since our insurance plan has proven to be pretty good like it's it's covering my whole like pregnancy and everything like that, um, I, I can't imagine it won't be covered. So I'm really excited about that because we both really, really want to find out the gender and we're like really like impatient <laughs> about it. And that's going to be in like five-ish weeks, I think, because the, so the book said that they can be done anywhere after nine weeks and I am four weeks today. So five more weeks and we could know the baby of this, or the, the baby of this, we could know the sex of this little nugget, which is just insane. <laughs> um, and other than that, uh, ooh, I did want to share a really fun app with you guys I downloaded the other day, and since I was just kind of sitting here looking for stuff to do, I decided to poke around. <sighs> it's called 7M Wellness. And it looks like that little pink, whoops, the little pink flower kind of in the middle, in the middle row all the way on the right is what the little icon looks like. And it's an app by, I think, Johnson & Johnson. But um, inside, you, it's like a seven-minute wellness thing. And so I think you're supposed to do it every single day. And... Um, it gives you first, you do a mind and body session. Let's see if, is that focused? I can't tell if you can like see the writing. But yeah, the first thing is a mind and body session and you basically tell the, tell the app what your energy level is. Let's see if I can. Yeah, so you can tell it that you know, today I'm feeling energized, good, okay, tired or depleted. And based on that, it will, um, uh, like tailor the, oops, 
like workout or, or the session to your mood and then so it gives you like half of it is like a wellness thing where it just kind of the one I did was just talking about um actually I forget I'm so tired I don't even remember what I was saying but it was just kind of like more of a, a meditation type of thing and then the second part of the little seven minute session was um is supposed to be like the workout part and so it'll either like show you a couple of simple pregnancy safe workouts or stretches or stuff like that so yeah I think that's gonna be a really fun app to start using every day maybe like start my day with it I think it'll be a really nice way to start my day or if I'm just kind of feeling blah one day and I need a little pick-me-up I feel like this could be really useful for getting me back in like a good mindset so yeah I'm really excited about this and if you're also pregnant I would highly recommend checking it out I feel like it doesn't even have to be pregnancy well I guess yeah the meditations are pretty pregnancy specific so that wouldn't work if you're not pregnant but yeah <laughs> anyways I think it's a really cool pregnancy app um I was thinking about also like uh, at some point maybe not a main channel video because I don't know if I have that many especially that many that like other people don't already know about but um, talking about the like pregnancy apps that I've been using and liking. So if that's something you'd be interested in, well, let me know. I'm kind of just rambling at this point. I am also looking for, if you have pregnancy apps that you absolutely love and couldn't live without, let me know what they are in the comments below. Um, also, just even if I've already mentioned them in my vlogs, you can write what your favorites are so that other people reading the comments can hear what apps other people like. But yeah. Like I said, I'm kind of just rambling now to talk because I'm tired and I'm kind of bored and <laughs> I don't know what to do. So I'm kind of just laying here on the couch chatting with you guys. And I'm kind of just putting off going to bed because I feel really, really silly going to bed at 1030 on a weekend. But I guess that's kind of like going to be my new life now that we're going to have a baby. 1030 is probably going to be like staying up late. <laughs> but um, yeah. I don't know, I think I might just go get in bed. I might go get in bed and do what I did last weekend when Miles was out. <sighs> Which is just read a little more of my book, uh, the What to Expect When You're Expecting. I have it like on in my iBooks. So yeah, but then I can just be in bed and like go to sleep whenever I really can't stay awake anymore. So that might be what I'm gonna do, but I'm also hungry. I've been like hungry all day long for the last couple days and I don't want to like just keep eating because I don't want to like unnecessarily gain your or weight gain gain weight that's the one <laughs> um because you're actually not supposed to increase what you eat for like the first two trimesters and you only need to add like an extra 200 calories a day in your third trimester so that's something I learned I'm pretty sure it was in what to expect or some other pregnancy information app that I've been uh, looking at, but I thought that was really interesting, but yeah, anyways, I might go eat something and then hop in bed and read a little more what to expect when you're expecting, but, um, I think I'm just gonna wrap things up for now for this vlog because I don't think I'm really gonna do much else that's worth sharing and I'm already pretty incoherent and not really making much sense and just babbling on because I'm tired, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love to have you following along and don't forget to turn on bell notifications if you would like to be notified every time my vlog goes live and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night! Mm -hmm.